With me now is Florida State Representative Blaise Angolia, also the chairman of the Florida Republican Party. Good to see you. How are Thanks you, sir? Thanks for being with me. Thank you Let's for having me. Let's talk a little bit about Florida. This important summit, I mean, you got all the candidates but one coming in. What is it about Florida that makes it so important? Well, Florida is the prize when it comes to the both the general election and with the, the primary. We are the largest, most diverse swing state, and a candidate that can prove that he or she can win the state of Florida is the candidate that has the organizational strength to win the White House and defeat Hillary. 99 uh, delegates, winner take all. Yes, 99 delegates, winner take all. We're the first state in the union to go 99 delegates, winner take all. While everyone before that is proportionary, we are the prize. All right, let's talk about how... Florida is maybe a little different from other states and is the Florida voting primary voter different from the general voter? Yeah, I would I would say that the primary voter is typically a little bit more conservative is what you see in Republican primaries, but this state is very very large, very diverse. It takes about 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours to get from one end of the state to the other end of the state. You have Democrats in the panhandle, which is much different than Democrats down south in Palm Beach, and you have Republicans uh, uh, are different at Jacksonville than they are Fort Myers and the candidate uh, and the campaign who can understand those nuances are a candidate that's going to up in this state. This whole I-4 corridor here in Orlando has become very important because of the influx of folks from Puerto Rico who have left that island and have come here and resettled and they could, they're able to immediately register to vote. Uh, how important is the Latino community? for the Republican Party of Florida. It, look, it, it's very important. We we need to uh, increase our uh, our foothold in those communities. I will tell you that in conjunction with the RNC, the RPOF, the Republican Party of Florida, we have been in those communities since, since early this year. We have had boots on the ground. We are knocking on doors. We are talking to people. We have communities leaders that we are engaging with, talking about the things that are important to them so then we can match up their values with our message. Is it tough when you have some candidates saying, for example, that that uh, their solution to the immigration problem is to deport en masse 11 million plus people. Is it difficult when you have that person who is leading your state right now with that message? Well, I would say that we're not here. The party isn't here to call balls and strikes. What we're here to do is just make sure that we're building up the infrastructure so no matter who he or she is a Republican but is it nominee. Difficult? Is it difficult to go into the communities that you're talking about where you guys have been going, maybe that in the past you hadn't? Is it difficult when that message is the one that everybody's talking about? Look, we're a diverse, we're a diverse state and our candidates are diverse, so not every message is going to resonate with everybody, but that's up to the voters to decide, not the party to decide. Chairman of Lays and Golia, thank you very much for being thank with me. I so sir. appreciate your time. And